All right, so we are in a geometry main lesson block. So our big unit study right now is geometry. And so I thought I would show you guys today's lesson and kind of how we're going. So we kind of did already start. We started with these tree blocks you see here. Now you can get these in a set where it's just the tree blocks. You can also get a set that are math tree blocks. And um, Rainbow Resource I have found is the best price for the math tree blocks. And what you're seeing here is actually a set of math tree blocks, a set of just uh, tree blocks uh, to play with. And then there are a few that I've made myself. Like this one here I made on my own. This one I made, I think there's another one. I think this one, yeah, this one I made myself and this one. And these are great for play, but the tree blocks ones are great because they are level. There are ones that are like multiples of the same size. Um, you also have these ones here. The math tree blocks also come with this little stand to measure. And they also come with these cards that have activities on them. So this is level one. I think the green is level, yep, level two. And then there's a blue that's level three. So um, it'll tell you on the bottom of the card kind of like what um, is being focused on for that, like what, what you're practicing when you're doing that activity. So we started with this, the boys work together. So it'll tell you on the activity cards how many people it takes and the materials. Today, we're having kind of, well, we had a really great morning, but then now all of a sudden everyone's falling apart. Dorothy's getting really cranky. Um, Lincoln's just not feeling it this afternoon. So I wanted to pick two that we didn't need a bunch of materials for and they could just work together to do. So um, they did these activities and this is a really, really great opening activity. Maybe not necessarily geometry specific, but definitely like a math concept and just a good thing to start a lesson with. So we just did this, so I'm going to actually take these cards and what I've been doing is storing them. Well, there's like a stack this big, but the ones I pulled for this unit are all right here and I'm just gonna put these ones kind of at the back of the stack and you can see some of them need like a plastic bucket as well or like this one you need a small indoor tent or sheet over a small sturdy table and I just was not feeling like organizing all of that today, so we're gonna do those next the next time I have tree blocks planned during this unit. So we did those tree blocks and now we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna be reading Euclid, the man who invented geometry and this is kind of all opening things. Once we get done reading this, we'll actually get into our live education um, lesson of the day and we'll get into our big project today which is going to be involve some embossing and some watercolor and I'm really excited about it. So. Let that me go ahead. Fun. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So let's go ahead and we're going to read this little book here, Euclid, The Man Who Invented Geometry. I also have this book here. It's by Oliver Byrne. It's the first six books of oh, the no, elements no, no. of Euclid. Um, and I don't know that this would be a great read through, but it's certainly beautiful to look at um, and kind of amazing to see what like someone figured out so long ago with just minimal um re re no minimal resources really i mean it's not like they had google um they didn't have the instruments that we have today and so it's really kind of amazing to see and um so i bought this it was i think 20 dollars or so on amazon and it's got some nice visual representations of some things in here um Definitely not a necessity. It's kind of more just like a little bit of a something that's kind of excited for someone who's a little bit maybe into math or um, so. Yeah, so we'll take a look through this and I'm going to read Euclid, the man who invented geometry. I'm actually going to let them play with the tree blocks with not any direct like they don't need to do a tree block. I'm making math. a little fort. 
that's fine. Activity while they do it. I'm gonna let them play with it while I read through this. We'll see how far we can get through it today. And then we'll move on to our next bit. I love you, mommy. Of lessons, love you too. So we're gonna do that and uh, yeah. So I'll show you what we kinda, kinda do next. The simple idea, an axiom, said Euclid. An axiom is something everyone can agree with. A starting point from with which we can begin to work out other stuff. That is so cool, said Euclid's friend. Have you, have you got any more great ideas like that? Lots, said Euclid. But that's enough for today. Tomorrow I will show you what happens if we have three points instead of two. Cool, said his friends. Then they all drew diagrams in the sand. Some drew wiggly lines. Some drew zigzags, some wrote their names. But whatever they did, they had to agree that the shortest distance between two points was made by a straight and simple segment of a line. Geometry is all about relationships, said Euclid. Oh, oh said Euclid's friends. Euclid's got a girlfriend. No, not that kind of relationship, Euclid sighed. Euclid drew two lines exactly the same length and made them exactly the same distance apart. These lines are exactly the same length as each other, Euclid said. Then that makes them equal, and that's a relationship. The lines are equal to each other. So there's the pictures, Lincoln. This book was a lot more, um, a, way more full of information than I thought it was going to be, and I feel like we're getting into concepts, other concepts really quickly. So I wanna pause here and we'll just kind of read this again throughout a couple of days next week to finish it up. I really like this book. I don't remember if I saw this somewhere or I just happened to grab it from an Amazon suggestion or what, but this is a fantastic, um, book for explaining a lot of, uh, geometry concepts. So it starts talking about Euclid, starts talking about points and lines, parallel lines and, um, converging lines. Then you get into angles and then it moves from the different types of angles into triangles and into circles, radius, diameter, circumference, and um, obviously squares. And I don't want to go too far and then it'd be too much information to absorb at once. So we're gonna stop at chapter five here. And, oh, it's a cube. Here, put this back over there. No, it just looks on its front. Oh, so it's just a square, yeah. Look, remember? Very nice. So the boys, you guys are gonna put those tree blocks away, please. I need to put a bookmark in this. Um. I'm going to put a bookmark in that book and we're actually going to move on to our lesson from um, the live education geometry and number. This is a book from the fifth year curriculum. It's really good. We did ancient India from the fifth year and I wasn't so, I didn't think it was that great. I thought it was a little bit confusing. I thought that some of the stories were really good for the kids, but I had a hard time finding extra material. I had a hard time being inspired by it. And so I was like, uh oh, but this is phenomenal. Really love the geometry and number. So we're gonna get into this today. We are on lesson five, no, lesson four. Well, lesson four in this, and the lesson four is on Euclid. So perfect, we've already kind of opened up talking about Euclid. And we're oh, going to be, um, hold on, buddy. We're going to be doing this lesson activity, which is discover the triangles. Um, we're actually going to do a um, watercolor uh, craft inspired by Hannah over at Pepper and Pine. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use some embossing powder and some watercolor. And we're going to um, draw some lines that are converging lines. And we will um, paint in um triangles and what we'll do is we'll start by trying to find all of the acute angles uh angled triangles and or, i'm sorry there, mommy, are you i'm talking about angles we will start by um looking for equilateral triangles uh, isosceles triangles and then scalene triangles and we'll just kind of go uh in that order so we'll look for any equilaterals then we'll look for any um 
isosceles and then we'll look for scalene and we'll talk up we'll, we will talk about acute and obtuse angles while we're doing that uh but we are, this is a triangle activity not just a, not an angle activity um sorry that was probably confusing i just got done reading that book talking about just angles so i had to reset my brain for a second so we're going to do that and then um the last bit of our sort of math main lesson block um, is my oldest son's um, reader his assigned reading which is fractions equal trouble but that is actually what at that point we get into language art to mention that even though our main lesson block is a math main lesson block and we are doing a lot of math concepts um we still do daily math and we just use math lessons for a living education for that and we typically just do that before we get into our main lesson block or at the end of it my kids just do one page out of their math workbook i have a collection of different workbooks for them this year that I can pull from to just have them do some daily math. I also have things like this for them to use for daily math as well um, in addition to our main lesson. Hello, I know you are. Can I use your ruler on our watercolor paper to make a bunch of lines and this is like as instructed in the live education um, main lesson book. So now we're actually going to use um, an embossing pen to go over these lines. And um, this is kind of the part where it's like a little bit different than what the book instructs you, in, in, instructs you to do. Right here. 